Yeah, it's Fugitive Australian journalist Shane Dowling from the website kangarooquarteraustralia.com. Now, there's been some movement in Bruce Lerman's defamation cases against uh, Channel 10 and their journalist Lisa Wilkinson and also News Corp and their journalist uh, Samantha Maiden. Now, Lisa Wilkinson has hired her own lawyers and own barrister. So I believe that's checkmated uh, Bruce Lerman and his supporters, which are uh, Lachlan Murdoch and Rupert Murdoch, have been using their media to support him. Now, News Corp might have been the first... Uh, media organisation to actually name him when Samantha Maiden wrote a story. It wasn't until later that night that uh, Lisa Wilkinson did a story on the project on Channel 10. But behind the scenes, well, not behind the scenes, in print in the Australian, Lachlan Murdoch and Rupert Murdoch have been ordering their journalists and commentators to support Bruce Lerman to run a defence for him, in effect. And specifically, they've been using two attack dogs, uh, Andrew Bolton, uh, Jeanette Alberts, and who writes for The Australian. Now, News Corp have run a story implying that Lisa Wilkinson probably hired her own lawyer and barrister because sometimes the uh, uh, agenda of the journalist and the media company can be in conflict. Say, for example, that uh, the media company, Channel 10, just want to get rid of the defamation case, they'll uh, make a low ball offer to settle and uh, move forward, whereas that could impact on uh, Lisa Wilkinson's reputation moving forward. Prime example is, say, uh, Christian Porter with ABC offered him $100,000 to pay for some of his legal fields. And he regarded that as a huge win. Well, it wasn't a win. It was a token win where ABC had to focus on whether they were going to spend a million or two million bucks and potentially lose or walk away paying $100,000. And so News Corp have run a story implying that's why uh, Lisa Wilkinson might have hired her own lawyer and barrister. But I doubt it very much. I suspect she's hired her own lawyer and barrister because she was worried that News Corp would try the low ball off a settlement and settle, and that would put pressure on Channel 10 to settle. And how it normally works, say, if Channel 10 are getting sued, they'll pay the legal fees, not just for themselves, but also for the journalist who's getting sued, in this case, Lisa Wilkinson. And News Corp do the same. They're getting sued, so they pay for their legal fees and also the legal fees of uh, Samantha Maiden. But... Uh, Lisa Wilkinson has jumped ship. I think she'd probably seen the writing on the wall that News Corp would offer a settlement. Bruce Lerman would probably grab it. He'd take whatever he can get because there's no chance he'd ever go to final hearing. He's not going to hop in the witness stand and give evidence. It'd be absolute suicide for him. I know it. He knows it. Everyone knows it. But News Corp who have been supporting Bruce Lerman by their other media, like I've said before, Andrew Blott and Jeanette Albertson in the Australian, uh, running scandalous stories, attacking Lisa Wilkinson, uh, trying to imply she's the only one getting sued, not them and uh, Samantha Maiden. Uh, Lisa Wilkinson would have been concerned that they're going to settle. That'll put pressure on Channel 10 to settle, and she'll be left high and dry because, uh, number one, not only a News Corp attacking her, she was part of the problem in relation to Bruce Lerman's trial being aborted originally. Had to be uh, adjourned for several months because... Lisa Wilkinson uh, shot off her mouth at the Logie Awards and they could have had some uh, sort of influence over the jury. Well, at least that's what the judge decided. So it was uh, adjourned for a while. So Lisa Wilkinson has gotten some bad press out of it. Some of it justified. I've certainly written a couple of articles uh, attacking her and what she has or hasn't said in relation to the Logie Awards. And also uh, when she told people on social media they shouldn't name Bruce Lerman when there's nothing stopping any of the media or anyone naming Bruce Lerman. But in this case, she shouldn't be sued for defamation. Bruce Lerman's trying it on. And uh, Lisa Wilkinson has made a very smart move in hiring her own lawyer and hiring her own barrister. She's obviously got the resources to do it. But she'll probably have to drop 100 grand or 200 grand to do that. But at least that will uh, checkmate News Corp and Channel 10 from settling to a large degree because they can settle if they want it. But she's going to follow through with the case. And if she wins, which she would do, I have no doubt, she'll make uh, Channel 10 and uh, News Corp look like fools for settling in the first place. Now, Lisa Wilkins and hiring her own lawyer and barrister has a couple other benefits. Number one, it'll run up uh, Bruce Lerman's legal fees. He wouldn't have to just pay legal fees for Channel 10 and News Corp. He would have to pay legal fees for uh, Lisa Wilkinson as well. And uh, it might allow her or her lawyers and barrister to file an application demanding that uh, Bruce Lerman put down a deposit because 
He's meant to be uh, a bugger all money. He's working on a farm in Tasmania, apparently, uh, picking grapes. So how will he afford hundreds of thousands of dollars to run defamation suits against uh, Channel 10, News Corp? Apparently he's threatened uh, the ABC as well, sent a legal letter threatening them, and also pay for the cost of Lisa Wilkinson's uh, legal representation if he loses. He's going to have to pay all that if he loses, millions of dollars. How does he afford it? So I think Lisa Wilkinson's lawyers and barrister would be justified in applying for the court to make him show he's got the money. Because why should Lisa Wilkinson run up a huge debt? Um, and then when she wins, go for costs, and Bruce Lerman declares bankruptcy. So that could be another challenge for Bruce Lerman. Now, one of the issues that hasn't been mentioned anywhere that I've noticed, Bruce Lerman, under the new defamation laws, has to prove serious harm. If there's no serious harm, he can't win. Now, have any of the articles written about him um, done serious harm? No, because he was charged with rape by the police. So it doesn't matter what anyone said or didn't say, it hasn't done serious harm to his reputation because that charge by the police has done a lot more harm than any article about him. That's what I'd argue in here. Now, Bruce Lerman has been represented by Mark O'Brien Legal. I wrote an article about that uh, the other day, and I'll put a link down below this video on YouTube to it uh, about his dodgy law firm. But they're representing uh, Ben Robert Smith. That's a frivolous and vexatious defamation case designed to hide Ben Robert Smith's war crimes. This is a friv these are frivolous and vexatious defamation cases run by Bruce Lerman. Well, he's trying to hide other stuff, and that'll come out in the near future. So the bottom line is, I think uh, Lisa Wilkinson has made a very good move. The only move she could really make, otherwise she could have been left high and dry by Channel 10 and News Corp. They are two separate cases, but they're listed uh, to be heard at the same time for the initial uh, court hearing on the 16th of March 2023 in the Federal Court before Justice Lee. So he might try and hear them both at the same time. I think Channel Lisa Wilkinson would probably argue against it. Uh, Channel 10 and News Corp will probably argue for it, so it could be a bit complex there. But the bottom line is, if it went to hearing, it'd get to the first uh, day and Bruce Lemon would pull the plug because there's no way in the world he's going to hop in the witness stand. But one of the big issues here is that the fact that Lisa Wilkinson now has her own legal uh, team really starts to shine a light on uh, Bruce Lemon and who how is he funding these defamation matters? Who's paying for him? Who's got the most to lose other than the Bruce Lerman? Well, Scott Morrison and the Liberal Party, for starters, which helps explain why Lachlan Murdoch and Rupert Murdoch have set their attack dogs on the case to uh, defend uh, Bruce Lerman, because uh, they always do that if they have a financial interest, and obviously they have a financial interest in defending the Liberal Party, who have uh, handed over hundreds of millions of dollars to them via JobKeeper and various grants. Now, Kangaroo Court of Australia is an independent media, and I fund my uh, videos and website via Patreon. So if you could support that, it'd be greatly appreciated. You can donate any amount, $3, 5 10 15 20 whatever suits your budget. Most people can afford $3 or $5 a month, and it helps me produce these videos. And there'll be a link below the video on uh, YouTube to the Patreon account, or there's a link on the website. And please share this video on Facebook and Twitter, etc. And please hit the like and subscribe button. Other than that, thank you for your time and have a good day.